Thank you so much for keeping us company. And if you just tuned in, this is why in the morning, my name is Dereva Hillary. Time for politics. We look at the statement in the count, uh, national or the Senate Assembly. We're seeing it's a game of numbers. I'm speaking to Kendi Mbaya, political analyst. We want to understand or to put things into perspective. What is happening in the Senate? Can't they make uh, a sound decision on this count? Uh, county allocation funds why do we have to wait why are they postponing meetings after meeting sessions after another today there's a meeting uh, convened virtually by uh, majority leader irongo kangata to try to bring or to whip numbers to make sure the formula passes but there are people who don't want it to pass the reason we do not know Kenyans, we only know what we have been told. But then we blame ourselves. Do we read? We have the constitution. Have you gone through it? Send us your comments or questions to our social media platforms at Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 channel, Facebook, and Instagram. My name is, uh, is Dereva Hillary and my handle is at Morani Hillary. We go straight to our conversation. Good morning, Kendi. Good morning, Hillary. It's been a while since you were here last. Yes, thank you I for you being well. I'm good. Now, what do you make of the current state of our Senate? Because the same thing we could say could um, uh, was happening a few days ago. Uh, that could be last month or maybe June in, this, in the National Assembly yeah. and of course even the, in the Senate. So the whole house has been the, ca the house of cards and now the game of numbers. Do you think the uh, Senate has been holding counties at ransom if they do not pass this formula? Mm, the same thing that has been going on in this country, where we politicize everything, even the most important things. Mm -hmm. Because like this uh, CRA formula should not, should not have gone on as long as it has gone. You, you remember this formula was introduced in Senate in 2019. Mm -hmm. They've had a whole year of discussing it, amending it, and doing all these things that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So right now what they're doing is, uh, is, a, game, is a power play game. Even even senators who have been whose counties actually every county is benefiting from this mm -hmm. from this formula, just that it has been framed that we have losers and gainers. There are no losers and gainers in this formula. Mm -hmm. But but the biggest question or the biggest worry is why has it taken them all this while? This this will be the seventh time they have yes. postponed. The the current formula that we are using it was about the land mass. Now we are using the population. And do you think the members or the uh, people from the Mount Kenya region, of course, I know other, other, other regions will be benefiting if it passes. They say one man, one vote, one uh, shilling. Do you think they are selfish in their thinking and in their method? Actually, Hillary, the one, one man, one vote, one shilling is a concept that has been introduced by politicians. When you look at the, CRA, the proposed CRA formula, it, has, it doesn't have the one man, one vote, one shilling. What, Kwanza, what it has concentrated on is where functions are followed by funds. Like for health, you're told that you're going to spend 17% mm -hmm. of your funds. And the current formula that you're using now, the second generation formula, allocates 45% to population. So this one is even more one man, one vote, one shilling than the proposed formula. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's a concept that politicians have introduced to make it more political. So that now it looks like Mount Kenya. Because if it was one man, one vote, a county like Nairobi County will get around 25, 29 billion shillings. And they are getting around 17 billion shillings because other factors have been considered. Poverty index has been considered. Mm -hmm. Development, land area, population, all those, is, all those factors have been considered. But we have decided to major on where politicians have directed us. Mm -hmm. One man, one vote, one shilling, which is not even in the CRA, mm -hmm. in the formula. It's not, it has not been factored in the formula. Uh, true, true as uh, be it, there has been... Um, uh, this statement has continued because this person says this and the other one refuses. We have seen the factions of those allied now now to Deputy Ruto and it has been alluded, it's an allegation. When uh, uh, Senator Murkomen speaks, he speaks the voice of DP Ruto. If uh, another person speaks, he speaks the voice of the president. Now we have these two people trying to fight and it is... Uh, alleged that most of these senators want to be governors what do they have to lose mm, it's all they have to gain 
that when when for example i i I campaign, let's call it campaign, for my county to get more funds. When I become the governor, I have more funds at my disposal. And as we have confirmed in this country, being a governor is not about development. It's about having more, more money to eat mm -hmm. by what we have. And again, the, the, another factor we are not looking at in the proposed theory formula is the mechanism they have put in place for to avoid corruption and embezzlement of funds. Mm -hmm. They have proposed that counties have internal audit audit mechanisms. That is one thing most of the senators who are aspiring to be governors will fight. Mm -hmm. as, uh, they, as they allude that they are fighting the one man, one vote, one shilling. It's the mechanisms that have been put in place to make sure that money cannot be stolen from counties mm -hmm. that they are fighting. Now, with these continued wrangles, we have uh, counties that do not have even the equalization fund, which they see... Uh, Council of Governors Chair Oparanya has been calling on the government to disperse it. It has never been used for nine months. I think this is enough money, but we have people who have not been paid in their counties. We are trying to fight COVID-19. The nurses have not been paid their dues, and other devolved functions will stall. Where do you think we are heading as a nation? Actually, if this impasse goes on for longer than this, counties are going to collapse. Mm -hmm. You can imagine counties have been running without money. And as, as, much as, as long as a formula has not been passed, or rather, as long as the Senate has not agreed which formula is supposed to be used, mm -hmm. counties cannot get money. So what happens now? Who pays the nurses and the doctors? It's the counties. Right now we have a crisis, a COVID-19 crisis. Mm -hmm. We cannot have hospitals where nurses and doctors are striking every now and then for something that the governors cannot, can do nothing about. Again, they're, de they're delaying the development. We all know in this country, once campaign period, once you get to the campaign period, there will be no developments. Mm -hmm. So this is 2020, where we, d we delay development until maybe December before counties get funds. So when do we have developments in these counties? When do we have services being delivered to Mwananchi mm -hmm. in these counties as we are having power plays in Senate? I think the Senate is being unfair to the citizen because they have had this formula for one year. Mm -hmm. Where they had to make amendments, they had they had time to do all these things they are telling us about. They had a whole year to do to do that. And then the CRA committee, mm -hmm. they they went through consult consultations. This this formula was taken for public participation. People passed it. Then it goes to the Senate and Senate decides mm -hmm. we're not passing it. Right. And they don't give us a reason. The reason they're giving us is uh, counties are losing. But they're not telling us these counties that you're saying are losing a county like Wajir. How, what did it gain in 2000? And when did we start devolution? In 2013. Mm -hmm. How did it gain? How has it gained up to now? No one is talking about these counties have been getting funds mm -hmm. and how much they have been getting. We have some going to a total of 70 billion that mm -hmm. they have gotten. But now the conversation right now is how they are losing. How are they losing from the formula? When now, they, when we started devolution to Lisema, Punda Anze, Punda Kimbie Kwanza, then now we can have the horses run after the Pundas have run in. At least, ndio wapate nini? Ndio waweze kufika halfway. True. Yeah, I'm trying to look at the uh, what you've just mentioned about the gaining and losing. Mm. Uh, it is believed, and it is according to this form, uh, particular formula, Kirinyaga will have 538 million shillings, Baringo will have 537. Now that is uh, central and uh, now Nyanza. Bomet mm. will have 456 million, West Pokot will have 444 million. Kakamega, uh, which is now Western, will have 402 million, Bungama 400 million, Machakos 367. Of which basic share is 14%, population 18%, and health 22%. Where these politicians, they have dwelt so much on the population, and we are trying to look into, do you think, uh, for the longest time, do you think the counties that uh, were getting the revenue according to landmass were riding on others, like, uh, say, Kiambu County, we ha which has more people compared to Wajia, which has less people, but because of the landmass, they had more. Do you think it was unfair, the, the, the current formula? No, I don't think it was unfair. The, current, the first and second formula were supposed to correct 
historical injustices in these areas. We are places have stayed for so long without hospitals. They have stayed for so long without, they, they didn't even have headquarters. Mm -hmm. So what the first and second formula were doing is make these counties catch up mm -hmm. with Kinakiambu, Nairobi, counties that had the advantage mm -hmm. of being developed before them. So it wasn't unfair. They were not trading on any county. But now, by now, they should have caught up. Mm -hmm. By now, a county like Marsabit should have a hospital. The, the landmass they're talking about, they should have built roads mm -hmm. or at least made the roads passable. If they haven't done that by now, then they'll never do it. Not true. Yeah, so by now what the formula was supposed to do is give them a head start. Mm -hmm. Like Sasa Kimbieni, then let the horses stand. Right. As the horses wait, now the horses, now the, the third generation formula is telling the horses, now you can start the, your, your race. Mm -hmm. And now Punda, wanasema apana. Horses was yanze race, such as it when the kimbia. And we see that is not how you how you develop a country. You cannot stall the developing counties so that the undeveloped counties can catch up can them. catch up with them. You need to develop both at par. Mm -hmm. Because Northeastern has its functions in this country. Mm -hmm. That is where we have pastoralism. But can you bring pastoralism in Nairobi County? Nairobi County has other services that it offers. Mm -hmm. When you go to Kiambu County, it has other services that it offers. You go to Nakuru, it has every county is unique with its functions. Mm -hmm. So we can now say, tunataka wajiri fikia Nairobi. That mm -hmm. will never happen. True. I've, I've had an argument, why, why would the government build a highway uh, northeastern parts of Kenya and not build roads in our rural areas like Mount Kenya, the western region where we grow food. Mm. People are arguing, why do we have an highway there? And it is, it is said because of the infrastructure mm. we need to, to match. They need to have something they can be proud of. And it's uh, something you're trying to mention about trying to catch up, of which they, they, we could say they are late. But now, coming back to the Senate, do you think the Senate is independent in their decision making? Or they, need, they will always need an upper hand? No, the Senate is not independent. Mm -hmm. it's, it's wishful. We would like it to be independent, but it's not independent. You can see a lot of politics. You can see ODM politics, Jubilee A, Jubilee E, Jubilee B. You can see a Kawaipa politics. So mm -hmm. there is no independence in, in Senate. Mm -hmm. Every, even that's how you find that people like Murkome, whose counties are gaining, in quotes, from the formula, are mm -hmm. still opposing the formula because he's not talking about his county. He's talking about his political affiliation, mm -hmm. which by the way, I am surprised that he's even opposing the formula, considering that his, fa his affiliation has been going to Mount Kenya. So when the formula is told to be benefiting Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. I would expect him to, to really rally for the formula so that Mount Kenya can benefit. And in, in view of this, do you think it, it's a strategy for them to appear to be against the formula uh, to favor uh, their man in the light that <coughs> in the event that this formula goes through, he will have something to tell them, I was for you. But what, but will, he tell, what will he tell the people who voted for him? You see, when you are voted as a senator, you are supposed to represent the interest. It's supposed to be very selfish. You are representing the interest of your county. That is why I understand when people like Kindiki are opposing the formula because his county is uh, losing in the formula. But when it's, uh, some, but someone like Murkomi opposes the formula, what is he opposing? Who does he represent? Mm -hmm. The people he's representing are supposed to be gaining. So he's supposed to be speaking for his county, not his party. Now, and when they all do this, do you think we will have lost uh, the spirit of equality? If every individual will go there to vote in the, in the um, basket of my people, because this will happen later on. They will say, I'm, I'll vote because my people, this is what they want. I'm crying for my people. The, the Mount Kenya want the one man, one shilling, one vote. And then the other regions, the marginalized will say, we need more cash. So at this point, will it really pass? But you see, I don't understand that this, uh, we need more cash in marginalized places. Because uh, going back again to Kiambu, how many, how many people does the Kiambu referral hospital serve? Mm -hmm. Then, okay, let's see. Oh, the the, equal, the equ equality that you're talking about, what you mean by equality is, if you're building hospitals, let Nairobi have 300 bed capacity, Kiambu has 300 bed capacity, Wajia has 300 bed capacity, Marsabit the same 300 bed capacity. Mm -hmm. But is that is that fair to Nairobians and Kiambu? 
where they have more people. You see, 300 bed capacity in Wajir mm -hmm. means that there are no people there. Mm -hmm. So most, um, at times you're going to even have empty beds. But you have, when you have the same 300 bed capacity in Nairobi, how many people are using that, those beds in Nairobi? Mm -hmm. Nairobi has more people, so Nairobi will require more beds. We can't say that we are getting what Sakaja was saying, that an equal, an equal share of the pizza. We can't say that because we are not equal. We are not the same number of people. Then we have places where people are pastoralists. Where, for example, when you build hospitals in Wajir, the A in Northeastern, they benefit other countries more than they benefit us. Mm -hmm. uh, when you build a hospital in, in a place like Nairobi, people are referred to the hospital in Nairobi from other counties. Mm -hmm. So it is better to improve the infrastructure in Nairobi than the other one make it standard where people can go there but they can be referred to this other place or go back to the system where we had the nine provinces have referral hospitals in those places where they are the they are at the, the level of knh mm -hmm. where a person in northeastern they have their hospital in northeastern but i don't say that in every county we have a referral hospital it's a waste of resources because if we have a the size of knh in Wajir, mm -hmm. who does it serve there Exactly. What you're trying to put, I think it's an argument that w has, has been highlighted uh, by Honorable Rigadi uh, from Nyeri. He was saying uh, the, the CDF, the, he, from his constituency, what he's given is the same amount that it will be given to an MP in the northeastern region. Now, what happens, according to him, he says, we, we got the national schools in our counties coming this way yeah we have national schools but no kid from those regions go to those schools not because of anything but because they never passed and there is no money to take them to those schools so they end up going to day schools this the the cdf can only cater for few people but them they have fewer people with more money so they are able to educate their people uh, through uh, big schools, take them even to universities. Are we speaking of equality? No, we're not. And again, you see, that's another angle that no one is talking about. Because when we're talking, we're talking as if this, this is the only funds that those counties have. Mm -hmm. You're forgetting that these counties are getting, the marginalization fund has not been removed. Right. For the marginalized counties, they're still, the only thing that has been reduced is the, the equalization fund and that is because the, now they are factoring the population of the 2019 census. Mm -hmm. The marginalization funds still stand. They're still receiving that money. Mm -hmm. where the, now they're supposed to catch up with other counties. But now they still want to receive funds as they were receiving them by the 2009 census, census results. Mm -hmm. Then we're not even talking about the, NGA, uh, the NGAF, mm -hmm. the, the, the funds for the women rape. We yeah. have CDF, we have a lot of money going to counties. But now when, you, like Rigade was saying, when in my county CDF comes to my MP, because we are many, mm -hmm. the maximum I can get is 3,000 shillings. True. Then when it goes to Marsa Beach, a, a student there can get as much as 35%. As it, it's even possible for the CDF to pay for that student national school. Yeah. It's not even about passing, it's about uh, if I'm called to alliance from my county and they cannot afford, afford, and the CDF, and the CDF gives me a maximum of 5,000 shillings. You see, 5,000 shillings is not enough mm -hmm. to take me to alliance. So I will opt to use that 5,000 shillings to go to a day school there. Well, this other person will be fully funded and done for shopping to go to alliance, which is in each county. Mm -hmm. And of course, even in the same spirit, Go, brings me back to the question are the people in the mount kenya region and other regions calling for equality are they selfish in their thinking no it's not about they're not being selfish they're being real you see uh, devolution is a new concept in this country right. the reason we didn't have this conversation in the first formula is because they didn't even know what we were talking about then as, as we go on, now we get to understand devolution. We get to understand how it works. When we were in campus, guys were being flown from Trukana County to U University of Nairobi mm -hmm. by, the count, by, their, by their governor because they could afford it. But from my county, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you get your 5,000 from the CDF <laughs> because actually the, the, county, the county government could not even give bursaries mm -hmm. because they don't even have enough money for bursaries. True. So you used to get the money from the CDF and that is around 5,000 shillings to come to campus. Mm -hmm. All right, so by, by, by all means, what I'm gathering here, the formula should pass. Now, As it is, not, uh, you see what failed is a, is a committee formula. Okay. Because what CRA does is it recommends, gives recommendations to the Senate, then the Senate can go and improve, but around the recommendations given by the CRA. Mm -hmm. So I think the formula that should be passed is what CRA had given. As it was, they don't amend anything, let them pass it as it was. Mm. And now at this point, do you think uh, the president should come in and Honorable Ray Loading, as it is believed, he will he will help uh, the ship from sinking? Do you think they will have so much to do with the, the standoff in the Senate in the spirit of the handshake? Mm. The president, you see how we are talking about uh, these uh, these case array formula. I saw people on social media celebrating that the formula may fail, uhuru may fail. But but uh, we have national government and we have the county government. Mm -hmm. The uh, the function of the Senate is actually protecting mm -hmm. the county governments. It's not the function of the, uh, that will be the president going out of his constitutional function to come and protect the county governments from the Senate that mm -hmm. is supposed to be protecting the county government. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Ni kama wite watchman wa kutoka mali pengine ya kuji akalisha watchman wako. This is, a, this, is, this is a function of Senate. The only reason the president will come in is to save devolution. Because as uh, the way we are going, the senators don't care whether we have devolution or not. Mm -hmm. They don't care whether the county governments have money or not. Because if they cared, this thing will not have gone long, uh, will not have gone on for as long as it has gone on. True. Yeah. And you see, it has taken them six times to sit down and try to sit. Actually, last th last time walitoka usiku, mm. and now I don't know what will happen tomorrow. Even with the weeping of votes this day, I don't know what the result, how the results will be. But also looking into how they have been behaving in the past, in the, uh, those a few meetings, do we even still expect that they will pass the formula? And if they will do, is it because they will have been manipulated again because we say they are not independent? Mm, and as we have said, it's not even about, for them it has stopped being about the formula. For the Senate, it's no, it now, now it's not even about the formula anymore. It's about political interests mm -hmm. and showing which, which faction is more powerful than the other. It's about ODM showing that Jubilee A and Jubilee B, we are more, we are more powerful than you are. We have more numbers. It's about the political factions showing mm -hmm. that we have more numbers than you. It has stopped being about the CRA formula. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has been alleged by a few... Um, where she knew was that uh, uh, Honorable Raila to the public, he said the formula will pass. As in, he told his people, you pass the formula. Mm. But when he went to the closet, he said, don't. And now we have, we have other, the, the Jubilee Party trying to tell the president, please come speak to us. Help us to understand. Then do you think in the long run, the spirit of handshake will lose meaning mm, no the handshake the handshake i don't think the i don't think uh, former pm would like to to do anything that will make the handshake shaky mm -hmm. i think that is one thing that you would like to protect very much so when when it comes uh, when it comes to passing that revenue formula mm -hmm. and it becomes about the handshake and uh, th that is where the handshake is anchored he will pass the formula. Mm -hmm. He will tell his people, lick it to petition. But you see, again, that's where I'm saying, this is where we are losing it. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about ODM. It's not about the handshake. It's not about the president. It is about the counties. And these people that we sent to Nairobi mm -hmm. to go and represent us in Senate, they're not representing the president. That is why I don't understand why my, my senator needs to be called by the president to be told to pass the formula. He's supposed to go, look mm -hmm. at the formula. Is the formula good for my county? Okay. Pass it. If it's good for my county. Does not matter what the president tells him. If the president tells him don't pass it and it's good for my county, who does he serve? Who voted for him? Mm -hmm. Is it the president or is it, or is it me?
-hmm. So and the other uh, the other senator goes and looks at the formula, thinking about you see that is what the northeastern the northeastern uh, uh, senators are doing. Them they are looking at the formula, and they are, they are looking at their interests. How is my county benefiting from this? How will which formula can benefit my county? Uh, let's say land mass. That is where my form. We have land mass. That is how my county benefits. We 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 have form. We have poverty. That is how my county benefit. That is that is how we get more funds. So that is what they're looking looking at. Mm -hmm. Now, when we go to the the other senators from Rift Valley and Mount Kenya, they're not looking at that. They're looking at Nani Anasema to Peter Shagani. They have stopped representing the people. Then they are representing their masters. Who is the wrong master? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the reason as to why I'm bringing the spirit of uh, handshake here is because as we finish, in February, the Mount Kenya region met. I remember the meeting at Kinoru Stadium. Yeah. It was about the Mount Kenya region. Uh, the Eastern Kidogo, but they, w they wanted this to pass. This is our problem. They mm -hmm. feel they have been contributing so much to the national cake. And it's about time now they have it. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of this politician. I wanted to quote him. But he was like, depends with who. Actually, it's a um, Meru governor. He said, it depends. Uh, no, Kiraito. Uh, Kiraito. He said, uh, the cake sharing depends on so much who is holding the knife. It's not even so much about the cake, but who is holding the knife. And that's why they knew we have to pass this formula for as long as the president is there. So at this point, do we need the president to make the senators to pass the formula? Mm, the formula depends. You, you see what, what you're discussing right now. I'm not saying that you're going around this CRA formula debate the wrong way. We are thinking about sharing the cake, but who baked the cake? Mm -hmm. We are first supposed to see who baked the cake. What did each county contribute? Amount Kenya is saying we have been contributing so much. Eh, kuna for kuna years. county ambayo may contribute a pinch of salt, but they want the same measure with the county that contributed flour to the cake. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we are supposed to look at the bakers, then distribute the cake according to the bakers. What did you bring? Only letter nini I had to contribute particularly later. We can't say that I bring flour, another one brings eggs, another one brings a kg of sugar, and another one brings baking powder, a pinch of it, another one a pinch of salt. I love to say is equally. Each person has to be given according to what they have contributed. That is why the formula goes back to rewarding uh, the fiscal discipline mm -hmm. and responsibility. Mm -hmm. That if you guys collect this amount of revenue, you get more money because you have contributed this amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, I'm seeing an analogy of a family where the parent has to decide who gets what and what and what to work. So this is the president wondering how to solve this problem. Is there so much thing that other than the president, who else, other than the individuals again themselves, who else do you think will make the senators to understand particularly? Actually, where is the committee? If the senators have been unable to decide for themselves, should the committee, the, the, CRA, the committee? CRA committee, come and explain what it means by the formula they came up with? But they have done that since 2019. Then our senators are failing us. Yes. The committee, by the way, the committee is not even supposed to be in Senate. Their work is give them, the, their work is to have professionals mm -hmm. who go to each county, discover the problems in each county, then come, consult, go back to the people, consult with the people, then get the best, the thing that works best for the people, give it to the senators and tell them, work with this. Mm -hmm. So they have, the CRA committee has done its part. The problem now is in the senators who have this thing that they understand, but the senators understand the, they, they understand the proposed Nini formula. Mm -hmm. But now they're going back to power, please. All right. Brings me to the final recommendations. What do you think the Senate should be doing to ensure that we do not stall the projects that are ongoing in our counties? The, uh, the salaries of our nurses won't be stopped because they need to be paid. Otherwise, they will strike and we are trying to fight COVID-19 and they are the frontliners. We have given power to the wrong people. Right now, it's the vote. It's not even the president who should be asking the senators to pass this formula. It is the voters. The voters are the ones who are being denied services. They're the ones who are supposed to be telling their senator, why are you doing there? 
Why are you even arguing about this? This is something we need money in the counties. Governors themselves need to speak out. Mm -hmm. Because they're the most the voters are the most affected, but the governors are the ones who are feeling the heat. Because when nurses strike, voters don't care that CRA was not passed. They're looking at the governor. Uyu alikula. Bethe ya kitu ya kwanza yunye watambiwa ni ati alikula pesa ya nurses. Alikula pesa ya. E, alikula pesa and now they're being, they still have the pressure si, ya COVID na nini nini. So the governors should speak out too. Mm -hmm. And speak to their senators and tell them. Tupitisha ikitu because they need the money in the counties. Again when they're given the money, mm -hmm. we know the senate is not even talking about what it should be doing. Mm -hmm. The senate is supposed to be overseeing. Are they being doing their oversight role to the governors? Mm -hmm. They're supposed, in fact, in your about, we are giving you this money, but we want to see accountabilities. If they were talking about the formula, not not nining so much on accountability. Like, what is this, what has the formula done to make sure governors don't steal money? That is a conversation that we will be willing to have seven times. Mm -hmm. But now it's not even about the mechanisms put in place to make sure that money does not leak out. The, which is their role mm -hmm. to protect governors, counties, and protect the stealing of funds. But now they're talking about one man, one vote, one shilling against one man, one vote, one shilling, which is not even in the formula. Mm -hmm. So they should pass it. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Kendi, for coming and uh, trying to put things into perspective. So, Senators, stop holding counties at ransom. You in the power you you are put there by the electorate to go and speak on our behalf so if this formula favors your people please pass it if it doesn't i don't know whether we will reject majority don't want majority want it so it remains a 50 50 thing if it passes well and good if it doesn't then we need a solution because we are looking we're looming at a problem if the nurses strike and we're trying to fight covid 19 and it has spread to the communities then as a nation will be falling down and falling badly thank you so much for keeping us a company we'll be taking a very short break after this interview i'm coming back with another segment trying to see how um we are fearing on with COVID-19, especially young moms. She has been my guest, Kendi Mbaya, political analyst. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Um, have yourself a very good day and back home. Good morning. Uh, keep it why in the morning. My name is Dereva Hilary. <laughs>